Well, after remaining quiet for so long, Bo Breedlove decided it was time to tell his story. He says to set the record straight. This was his first on-camera interview, and in it, Breedlove says he never pursued a relationship with the mayor, that it just happened. And looking back on it now, after all the controversy, he says that he does feel some parts of that relationship were, quote, inappropriate. Bo Breedlove and I had a sexual relationship in the wake of this shocking admission. Really angered and saddened. I think he was foolish in lying. People of Portland are really disappointed. In the middle of all the outrage. I have a problem with somebody who's trying to cover up indecency. And angry calls to oust Portland Mayor Sam Adams. He lied to my community. One voice has been missing. I feel horrible. Bo Breedlove is the young man at the center of the political storm. This story has had an unfortunate toll. Breedlove says it began when he was only 17, interning at the Oregon State Capitol. He met the then 42-year-old commissioner, Sam Adams, and a friendship, he says, grew from there. I thought he was very handsome. I thought he was um, very charismatic. On only their second meeting, the subject of Breedlove's age came up. So you tell him that you're 17 at the Macaroni Grill, and what's his reaction? Um, he was surprised. Just minutes later, Breedlove says Adams began kissing him while saying goodbye here at the train station. It was a kiss. It caught me off guard, um, but it was mutual. He's the adult, I know. and he knows you're 17, I know. and he kisses you anyway. It just happens. It just happened. Do you see anything inappropriate? Looking back on it, yes. But still, Breedlove says there was yet another encounter, another kiss later in the second floor men's bathroom at Portland City Hall. That was definitely romantic. There was nothing more romantic, he says, until the two met again weeks later after Breedlove's 18th birthday. At that point, you slept together. Correct. I never had a sexual relationship with Sam before I was 18. We never did anything. But I years know. later, his age at the time there's, came there's, back into question. A potential relationship with a minor. Suspicions surfaced during Adams' run for mayor, suspicions he strongly denied. It is simply an attempt to smear me uh, for political advantage. You know he's lying to everyone here in Portland. Mm -hmm. Were you disappointed in him? A little, yeah. It stayed secret long enough for Adams to win the election, long enough for the new mayor to take office. But after the relentless reporting of a local paper, only weeks later, Adams eventually confessed to the affair. I want to apologize to the people of Portland for my dishonesty. Obviously, there was a deception. Did he betray the public? I don't think he betrayed the public. Um, I think that he let them down. Exactly what Adams did is now the subject of a statewide investigation. The Portland District Attorney has asked the state to look into any possibility of criminal conduct. I don't think that it was anything criminal, and I don't think that he ever took advantage of me. You don't believe he preyed on you? No, never. Even though he was substantially older than you? I don't think he ever preyed on me. I was never his victim. But in a way, Breedlove does feel victimized. The public, he says, has been harsh. I've had um, hate mail. Now even his adopted dog has captured public attention. Hi, baby. She's named Lolita. <laughs> and it's in no connection related to Long Island Lolita. You think you're going to be able to live a normal life now? Hopefully. He still has, though, his connection to the mayor. They're still friends, Breedlove says, even after the affair, after the scandal, after the lies. You're still friends now? Correct. Uh, some, some have said that because you're still friends now, you are, you are still lying for him. I'm not. Well, Breedlove says he doesn't believe the mayor should step down over all of this. He believes the voters should decide themselves whether a recall is warranted. The mayor himself, by the way, never responded to any of our interview requests. Ross Palumbo, CBS News, New York.